Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. We have a very exciting leak on the upcoming Ryzen 3000 processors from AMD. Now, today's leak is coming from Adore TV, and he is excellent with his analysis on PC architecture, and he has also been spot on with his predictions on where the technology will go. He has had many leaks that have turned out to be 100% true. His last leak was the RTX line of GPUs, and they turned out to be spot on. On. Now, according to his leak, some of these AMD Ryzen 3000 processors will reach 5.1 gigahertz and will remain on the AM4 platform. Now, of course, we know that AMD has promised that you will not need a new motherboard until after 2020. They are keeping true to their word as the AMD Ryzen 3000 processors will work in your older motherboards. Now, one thing that I'm excited about these new processors is that it is running on seven nanometer technology. So not only are these CPUs gonna be clocked at 5.1 gigahertz, they're gonna be on a much smaller node and the yields should be much greater than what we've seen before. In fact, I don't think Intel will be able to match the performance and I know for sure they will not be able to match the price. Well, according to the leak, there will be 10 different Ryzen 3000 processors. You're gonna have the entry level, you're gonna have the mid range, and of course, you're gonna have the high end CPU. So let's start off with the Ryzen 3 3300 line of CPUs. First, we have the 3300, which is a six core 12 thread CPU with a base clock of 3.2 gigahertz and a boost clock of four gigahertz running at 50 watts at a retail price of $99. Now this is expected to be unveiled at CES 2019. Next, we have the Ryzen 3 3300X, a six core 12 thread CPU with a base clock of 3.5 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.3 gigahertz running at 65 watts at a retail price of $129. This CPU as well will be launching at CES. The Ryzen 3 3300G is a six core 12 thread CPU as well running with a base clock of three gigahertz and a boost clock of 3.8 gigahertz running at 65 watts at $129. Now the Ryzen 3 3300G will have a Navi GPU on board. So this will be an APU and it will have 15 CUs. Now this is expected to come out in the third quarter of 2019. Next we have the mid-range Ryzen 5 3600 line of CPUs. First up we have the Ryzen 5 3600 which is an 8 core 16 thread CPU running with a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.4 gigahertz running at 65 watts at a retail price of $178 and this CPU as well is expected to debut at CES 2019. Now I have to say this, it's quite amazing that the mid-range are eight core 16 thread CPUs and we're getting a boost clock of 4.4 gigahertz on the entry level CPU. This is simply amazing and let's not forget this is on seven nanometer. Next we have the Ryzen 5 3600X, an eight core 16 thread CPU with a base clock of four gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.8 gigahertz running at 95 watts priced at $229 and this as well as expected to debut at CES 2019. Last we have the Ryzen 5 3600G, which is also an eight core 16 thread CPU with a base clock of 3.2 gigahertz and a boost clock of four gigahertz, running at 95 watts at a price of $199. This as well will have a Navi GPU on board, but it will have 20 CUs instead of the 15 CUs that are found on the Ryzen 3 3300G. Now this is expected to launch in the third quarter of 2019. Next, we're gonna get into the high end Ryzen 7 processors. First, we have the 3700, which is a 12 core 24 thread CPU clocked at 3.8 gigahertz for the base clock and boosting up to 4.6 gigahertz. This will run at 95 watts and will retail for $299. The Ryzen 7 3700X is a 12 core 24 thread CPU with a base clock of 4.2 gigahertz and a boost clock of 5 gigahertz running at 105 watts and 
priced at $329. Next, we have the Ryzen 9 3800X, which has 16 cores and 32 threads. It has a base clock of 3.9 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.7 gigahertz. This will be running at 125 watts, priced at $449. Last but not least, we have the Ryzen 9 3850X, which is a 16 core 32 thread CPU with a base clock of 4.3 gigahertz and a boost clock of 5.1 gigahertz running at 135 watts, priced at $499. Now, the last processor is expected to launch May 2019. The other Ryzen 7 processors that I just talked about will be debuting at CES 2019. Now, I have to say, this is incredible. Now, if you're in the market for buying a CPU, I can't see many people buying Intel's processors in 2019. First of all, most likely you're going to need a new motherboard to support whatever Intel is bringing to the market. And right there, that puts the cost way up. If you're on the AMD platform, you don't need to get a new motherboard. You just need to get the new processor, plop it in, and you're good to go. Now, of course, there are some new things that the AMD Ryzen 3000 processors will bring, like PCI 4.0, and of course, you will not be able to use that on your old platform. You will need to get a new motherboard in order to support the new graphic cards or whatever else comes out that supports PCI 4.0. Nonetheless, you will still be able to use that processor in your system and i think this is a major win for amd anyways i want to know what you guys think about this personally i'm very excited i can't wait to get my hands on these processors i'm probably going to grab a few of them as i think they are a great value and they will offer great performance especially seeing how they are on the seven nanometer node anyways like i usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one